Hi, welcome to the Absolutely Improvised Monologue. My name is Paul Burrell, and I am the Absolutely Improvised Monologist. Um, so what you're about to see, one take, there'll be a word down here, which is the prompt. The word might be in it, the word might be next to it, the word might inspire it. But that one word is the prompt. You can get me here with more prompts. You can get me on the Facebooks, whatever, if you want to get me a prompt. Uh, the character's name is Porkchop. He is a... Uh, Blue collar knucklehead just trying to make a living uh, and telling his stories. So uh, here we go. Again, one cut, I mean, one take, no cuts, no edits, no script. So sometimes I don't even know what I'm going to say until I say it. <sighs> Gail, remember that time that you and me we were in the Vegas and I was in the room with the guys? And you were in the room with the other guys, and we were playing the cards. I couldn't get a pair if my life depended on it. But I couldn't leave the room without something to show for it, even if it was just a belly full of pretzels and cheap wine, right? But I kept playing, I kept playing, I kept playing. And I kept getting more and more sad and more and more dejected about not being able to do so good. Finally, finally. I pull two kings. Now I'm very excited to pull two kings. So the two kings I've seen since the last Sinatra, the Martin movie we watched together. So I shuffle off the three, I pick up the new three, I look, three kings. This is Christmas time for me all over again, all three kings, right? So I throw a dollar, then a dollar, then a dollar, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I throw down the three kings, bada bing. Summon a bitch, a guy across the street there. He had three aces, three bullets. What's a guy to do? So I just fold up. I'm done. I've lost a good 30 bucks. When the when the pork shop loses 30 bucks, time to hit the free buffet. I'll make up my money right then and there. Not a problem, especially if they got the squid. So I go over there, and I'm at the line of the buffet, and I'm waiting to get it there, and waiting and waiting, and I hear people cheering. So who the hell's cheering? We're in Vegas. Vegas ain't a cheering place. And I peek my head around the corner, and there's a crowd around the woman. And I look closely, and that woman is you. And you're showing them bones like an old pro. And I look up, and you went from that little stack of chips to the Eiffel Tower and the Sears Tower right next to each other, and you're still throwing the bones. I started to walk toward you, and I said, no, I'm the bad luck. If I get too close to you, you're going to lose it all. I'm going to go back and be bad luck for the guy who's making the fried chicken. So I went back and got in line. About 15 minutes later, all the, all the applause died down. Things got quiet. I saw you coming around the corner with a big wooden box full of chips. I said, baby, I gave you a 20. What did you do? And you told me. You said, Porky, you know I love you. I said, of course, I love you, baby. What happened? Did you steal those? Are we going to go to jail for this? She said, we made $2,000 today. I said, pack your bags. We're going home. We got $2,000. That's 1000 for each kid for their college diplomas. We're done. We're good. We're done. She says, well, how, how did you do, Porky? I said, uh, I lost my ass. She said, you lost the whole 20? Uh, I lost 30. You said, it's okay. We made it. And you took 30 off that stack and you gave it to me. And you said, now you're well. And a little a little teardrop went down my face. And, and it, wasn't, it wasn't from the fried chicken. It was from the love that my Gail showed me that day. We did go back. We went to spend the rest of the weekend seeing shows and walking around. We went back, we put $1,000 in Pork Chop Junior's college account. We put uh, $970 in Gail Junior's account. We know she's gonna do better. It ain't a genderific thing. She's gonna get scholarships. She's freaking brilliant. Anyway. The moral of the story is you can play poker all you want. You were amazing and you were generous and that's why I love you and that's why I will always love you. 
And that's why I won't ever stand near you when you're gambling. Because even though you're my good luck, I might be your bad luck.